going on guys this is your boy jay back at game with the crimson camry today we are not gonna be messing with the crimson camry um today as you saw in the title we're gonna be installing the uh the iDrive throttle controller i had it in my camry since before i even made the youtube channel so i never made a, a video on it but i wanted to make a video on it just to throw it out there you know what i'm saying people a lot of people subscribe to me a lot of people only watch my stuff so um throw this quick tutorial real quick and um show you exactly how it is it's real simple it takes about three minutes max it may be a little difficult in this one part but i'm gonna show you the best way possible on how to do it all right so here we were inside a 2018 uh xsc v6 camry the first thing you want to do you're you're going for this right here um it's a little plug that's like right here where my pointed my fingers pointing at it's connected to the gas pedal um the first thing you need to do there is a screw right here and there's a screw over here you have to take those two screws out first all right all right we got it down next there are tabs attached to this as you see this one right here there's another one right here so now we have this right here um now it's not necessary to take this whole piece off but if you want to give yourself the best space possible um because you gotta really get under there with your hand to squeeze this uh this plug out out of the gas pedal um your best bet is to take this out and then all these wires if you have an sc you're not going to have all this right here you're just going to have this plug right here stuck in there all right so i got some of the plugs down um it's not, it's not too crazy this right here is the last one um i'm pretty sure when i was messing with it last time i just left it here so it gave us more space um i could even just take this and put it to the side like right here so it's out of the way the next part is is this plug right here okay so in order to take this plug out you gotta reach back there i i highly suggest that you have a glove on because it gives you the best grip possible you want to squeeze this right here this side and you just want to pull it's so hard y'all um i'm kind of playing myself right now using my left hand because i'm not left-handed let me try my right hand. All right. We'll try the right hand. I'm telling you, it's hard, guys. It's hard. Like, no joke. When I was doing my car, it took me like a good five minutes to get this plug out. I know some, so one person on Facebook, uh, he got so frustrated that he legit said, I don't want it no more and give it back. And sold it, uh, uh, returned it back to iDrive. This, I will get this. All right, I'm gonna uh, do this while I'm not recording. <laughs> Another thing I wanna show y'all before I unplug the uh, original uh, plug to the gas pedal, before I installed it iDrive, this is what I want, want y'all to see. Or this Camry, does have a Magnaflow 19411 for the V6. And so it is gonna sound pretty beefy. He has no mods in his car besides the Magnaflow. So right now, that's what it sounds like. All right, so that's what it sounds like without the iDrive. All right, so we got the plug out. I'm not gonna lie, it took me like a good five, 10 minutes to take this plug out. Uh, it is a 2018, so I expected it to be harder. And that plug been in for about five years. So, all right, next, you're gonna open up your package. Unleash the power. This is what it looked like. Yes, it is very small. There's nothing crazy. All right, this is what you're gonna have inside of it. Plug and play harness right here. Uh, just you know, some zip ties to uh, help your wires, pitch your wires, keep it clean and everything. This goes to this, okay? Male to female. I don't know why I'm trying to do this with one hand, bro. All right, this is what it look like. You're gonna take the plug right here, this plug right here, and you're gonna plug it into the harness. All right, it's gonna look just like this. All right, and then you go take the other side and plug it back into the gas pedal. All right, it's in. You heard it click. I hope you heard it click. All right, it's in. Now, this next part of the video, 
uh, solely depends on you, on where you want to put it. In my car, I have mine sitting right here, okay? And there's no wire, the only wire you can see is that wire that you're looking at right now. I have it uh, perfectly hidden in mine. Uh, I've seen some people pit it over here, over here, you know, how the wire somehow. I've seen some people hide it inside here. I have seen somebody pit it over here. So, but the main part is, is this. So we're gonna start the car up. So this is what it looks like when it's uh, on neutral. So th th these two lines right here mean the car is gonna work exactly the, the same way it did before. All right. Now, E stands for eco. Okay. So it has different levels of it. On the higher the number, the stronger the uh, the throttle controller is. Meaning for eco, if you step on your gas pedal on E9. It takes a long time. It's, it's pretty much going to gradually pull you forward. You know what I'm saying? You could put your gas pedal down halfway, and it doesn't sound like anything like that. Now on E0 is the the most the least sensitive uh, eco mode, and I'm gonna put my foot down the same way, and you can hear the difference. I ain't changed nothing. Now, for you, ultimate mode, this is the, the most responsive mode you can have. Same, same thing, it goes from U0 up to U9, all right? Now watch my foot and listen to the, ga uh, the uh, gas pedal. I barely touched it, see? Now look, I wanna show you something. On E9, look at the RPMs. This is the same, same uh, pressure. Now on U9, with the same pressure, it's more responsive. All right? Now AC is pretty much the best of both worlds. Pretty much, if you're trying to chill out, relax and everything, uh, in traffic, you know, you're light on the gas pedal. It'll, it'll, it'll work with you. That's what I'm trying to say. It, it'll work with you. Now, if out of nowhere you need to get get somewhere, you need to pip some pep in your step in your car and your Camry, you know, AC will also get you to what you need to be. Personally, I usually keep mine in AC. When I'm in half, he heavy traffic, my sweet spot is E5 for eco, so that way my car is not jumping every time I barely touch the gas pedal. And then uh, U9 is where I'm I'm late to work or I'm trying to prove a point to somebody. Oh, you want to race me? Okay, bet. I'm going to throw the U9. Now watch this. I'm going to show you something. So E5, right? I got my gas. You hear it? Now I'm going to switch it to U9. I didn't move my my foot. Now, I'm no guru um, on the throttle controller or the iDrive and everything. Uh, I've had it for a little over a year now. And th th this is my personal experience. This is what I know. This is what I learned over the year of using the iDrive. Um, so don't, don't come at me, ask me all these crazy questions. Now I'm gonna answer these. I keep watching the video. This does not make your car faster. This does not give you increased horsepower, okay? Um, it will make your car more responsive. It will delete the lag response in between gears that the Camrys, the Gen 8 Camrys are known for. No, this will not void any warranty you have. The only way something, a modification on your Camry will ever void a warranty from Toyota, if they can prove whatever is wrong with your car, ties back to that aftermarket mod that you put in your car okay all right so i talked to my client and he wants it in the same spot i have mine don't forget before you uh apply it wherever you're applying some with 3m tape make sure you clean the area with alcohol here it is all 
right? That's how much wire you're gonna see underneath. This is what you're looking at. Pretty much nothing. You can't see anything. So yeah, I'm gonna leave a link inside the description below, uh, linking to the iDrive. Um, if I can find a discount code, I'm gonna put that down there too, probably like 10% off. But it's nothing crazy. Uh, I highly recommend you get the uh, thyroid controller for your Camry because it will delete the lag. It won't make you faster, but it will actually, if you have a four cylinder, it will allow you to really enjoy the um, the ride of the car, um, in my opinion. So, um, till next time, guys. See you later. Deuces.